En esta lectura voy a leer un caso en el que una mujer cuenta en el internet que su esposo la abandonó a ella y a sus hijos sin previo aviso. On January 1st, our anniversary, he was madly in love and told me he couldn't live without me, she said. On January 10th, we were getting ready to go to church and we had a little tiff and he said, I'm gonna go get a Coke. And he picked up his car keys and quite literally never came home again. He left me with two children to raise because when he divorced me, he left them also. She explained. Some warning would have been especially kind and generous of him. Ahora a continuación voy a leer algunos comentarios sobre el caso. Como ya imaginarán, en el internet van a escuchar comentarios a favor y en contra. I live by the words, if you fail as a father, you fail as a man. There is not enough money in the universe that I give up the experience of raising my kids. To walk out on your spouse and kids, you have to have zero honor. Just be totally living to serve your own selfish needs. I'd rather be sawed in two pieces than fail my sons. Women often complain of the insensitivity of men. Had any of these women bothered to listen closely, they would have known just how far into the swamp their mouths were carrying them. These men simply decided that they were done, finished, with their wives' disrespect. Of course the women never figured it out. That doesn't make any sense. People shouldn't have to decipher or be clairvoyant to try to pick up what someone is saying between the lines of communication. They should speak their truth straight up. If you have an issue, open your mouth and say it, instead of slithering out the door like a snake. There is no excuse for abandoning your flesh and blood, period. This kind of thing only happens to pathetic women who do not know how to love or appreciate a man. Think about what kind of pain that guy and others like him have been enduring for years when they just finally snap one day and decide to give a little back. The problem in our society is that women have way too much power. The ultimate victim becomes the woman herself. No guy wants to get married anymore and it is a trend that is continuing. Feminism killed chivalry. So a man with no balls who abandons his children is making a statement about feminism? That's pretty pathetic. It sounds like he and you need to grow a pair. Mine called me from his work in the morning as I was on the way to the school I had just started working for as a teacher and told me how much he loved me and couldn't wait to see me later. After picking up my three-year-old daughter, who was just recently diagnosed with autism, we headed home to find all of our belongings gone and the house trashed. Apparently he called to verify I was indeed going to work and then proceeded to move to a new undisclosed location. He took everything of value including our daughter's toddler bed and toys. That was 11 years ago and he has not seen nor inquired about his daughter since. I had no clue 
he was planning to abandon the two of us. Did not see that one coming at all. Gosh, why does that story sound so fake? Went out for cigarettes? You're right. Seriously? Sounds so fake? It happens all the time. Google it. If I ever felt like leaving, I'd simply leave. No one lords over me. Would you have the guts to say you are leaving? My ex-wife dropped our five-year-old off at school, drove the car we bought for her, which we couldn't afford, to the local convenience store and abandoned it there so she could take a cab to the airport. I spent five to six agonizing days with no sleep, a bewildered and incredibly anxious child who thought I was going to disappear too. See, the idea then was if a man left, he was a selfish felon. But if a woman left, she must have had a good reason, and it was all the man's fault. Found out in the years that followed, she had systematically been skimming cash out of funds meant for bills. Had gotten two or three credit cards in her own name using our credit and left me bankrupt with our child to care for. Men still get the short end of the stick when it comes to marital and divorce law. I always think of the old joke that isn't really a joke. Why bother getting married? Just find a woman you can stand and buy her a house. To all the mean people, mostly men who clearly hate women, who think she surely did something to run him off, you really have no idea what you are talking about. This happens all of the time and the abandoned spouse never saw it coming. And the reason they never saw it coming is because their abandoner didn't want them to and went to a great deal of effort to lie to them, manipulate them, and basically to use them as long as it was convenient. The details in individual cases might be slightly different, but there are enough similarities that this is a predictable phenomenon when you are dealing with an emotional unhealthy narcissist. These people shatter lives as easily as the rest of us do something like going to the grocery. 